Hi everyone, here's Andrea uh, on the way to another trip. I'm heading down to uh, New Hampshire to a campground that's called Hancock Campground in the National Forest there or National Park. And it's one of two that are actually open all year round. I've never been there, so um, it's going to be uh, an adventure. It's going to be a surprising probably. But I know it's near the river and I'm hoping to get a spot right there uh, next to the river with uh, car parking. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Obviously it's already dark, you see that, so the driving is not going to be fun and I'm not going to be filming anything along the way. Uh, it's a four hour drive from Montreal, over four hours probably. So I'm going to be tired by the time I get there and set up my camp, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Probably once I make it to the campground. All right, I see you guys when I get there in about four hours. I made it. What a drive. It was actually not so bad, but um, through the city it's never fun. But now I'm on the campground with plowed streets, which is nice. And now I just have to find my way around. <laughs> I think these are the RV sites, which allow me to park my car right by the spot. I'll check them out first because that will be easier. But I'm going to drive around in the loop because on the other side of this there's supposed to be the river. I don't remember the name now. I'll put it on the screen. But uh, the highway that I just came from is pretty busy and uh, I would expect to hear that at night but by the river it's uh, supposed to be really nice. And uh, the river makes some nice noise, so I'm looking forward to that. I uh, haven't seen any cars, any tents or anything yet. I don't expect to see any, honestly. The forecast for this weekend is kind of terrible, <laughs> which is perfect because that's what I love. Um, tomorrow should be nice for a hike, but then um, starting on Saturday night and Sunday uh, it's supposed to start with snow and then sleet and also um, freezing rain and uh, and then rain all the way back home uh, it's pretty much Sunday rain all day uh, so that'll be fun to pack up my stuff in the rain but we'll see oh I see a car I think I'm gonna loop around and and just camp somewhere a little bit earlier. Well, here we are. My campsite for a couple of nights. We actually cleared it up nicely here, so I don't really have to do much at all. I have the bench here. I don't currently see a fireplace. I know there is one somewhere. Maybe this? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Can you hear the river? I'm looking forward to going over there in the morning. There's a, maybe 10 centimeters of new snow here, but it was pretty deep. I was going over a little bit here. I was going to put my tent right there where it's all cleared up 
but the ground is completely frozen and I can't get any stakes in. And there's not enough snow to put um, the snow stakes there. And so I moved it over here where the deep snow is at. And uh, I'm about to use my snow stakes for the first time. So I kind of drew a line there with the snow stake um, where the, the rope is going. And I just put it in like this. I'm going to cover it with snow and then cinch it tight. And hopefully that works. I'll start with those two corners first and then I'll do the the three poles as usual and then I do the four corner uh, the two corners on the other side and then I will just do all the guy lines and then see how things look like that's gonna take a little more time than I expected and it's already past 10 o'clock but it's okay so I got the four corners staked out now it's not, lo not looking so bad, it actually worked pretty well with the snow stakes. I'm glad I don't do this in a stormy condition. Um, but I could bury them really well in the snow here. And now I'm just going to do the ventilation. And the six guy lines, on the, uh, the three on each side. And then tighten everything up and then it should look like it's supposed to. So I've got everything staked out now. I'm um, just gonna tighten everything up now. It doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit crooked, but it could be worse, I guess. Yes, I don't have gloves on. I did everything just with my hands, buried all these stakes. But it's really not cold at all. I think it's just around freezing. So it's going to be a very pleasant night. Okay. I think that's looking good. What do you think? So maybe we get some snow, maybe we get some rain, <laughs> very likely we get some rain, and uh, we'll just have a good time. That bench is completely frozen over. I don't know if I'm going to eat on there, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get all my stuff in here now, get my sleep area set up, and then I'll bring you guys back. I'm still not quite ready with my setup here, uh, but I wanted to show you this vestibule one more time. And I know I showed this to you before from the Namash 2 GT. It has the extra space here in the front. And man, I love this space. I can't say it enough that I'm so glad that I have bought this bigger tent, uh, even though it's, it's huge, it's hard to dry at home at my little apartment, but uh, look at all the space. I just put everything in here. I have the floor print. I put my food there, uh, my day pack, all the camping gear and my two sleeping bags. And uh, I can just do that while I blow up my mattress in here and have plenty of space to move around. Well guys, I think I'm all set up uh, for now. I just boiled up some water and I made uh, the bottle again to put into my sleeping bag. This is truly the best trick there is to stay warm overnight. But uh, I'm just going to have a little snack, um, just some water to drink. I'm not going to cook anything tonight. It's 11.30 now, so it's super late. Unfortunately, it took longer to get here and also to set up the tent with all the snow stakes. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. 
Good morning, my friends. I slept very well, and it seemed like the night was super short. Uh, it's about seven o'clock now, and I can't sleep anymore. Uh, I have a lot to do today. Uh, I want to show you guys this campground a little bit. I want to explore where the river is. I can hear it, but I don't know how close it is. And I want to actually take a hiking path along the river. And I still haven't bought any food for tonight or uh, firewood um, for dinner. So I need to head back to Lincoln uh, later on this afternoon and get my food and get, uh, get everything going for dinner tonight. So uh, I have a full day. So I might as well get started since I can't sleep anymore. I'm not sure where this label comes from, but it makes me smile because my favorite number is 222 or any kind of combination with two since the 90s. And uh, maybe I'll tell you more about that number later on. I don't know, <laughs> but it's in my tent right now and it kind of makes me happy. can see a little bit of frost on the inside, but also on the outside here. I don't know if it picks up. Few snow. Uh, or frost. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It's very pretty here. So I ordered two things from North Face. So these are the uh, the woman's Fermo ball booties. And I used them inside the tent and they're just very well insulated. They have a super nice um, sole. Sorry, I was distracted. I was hearing a car that comes down the street right now. Hmm. And then for hiking and for um, everything outside, I got also the, the North Face uh, boots here. I forget what they are named now, I'll put it on the screen. But they're insulated and waterproof, they have good sole. And uh, they have the little hook there for the gators. And so far, from the little I've used so far, um, they work quite well. Yesterday I didn't even have my warm socks in them, I just had like, just regular, like everyday socks and I had super warm feet. Such a beautiful morning. Look at the light up there, the blue sky. Just little bits of it and uh, the snow everywhere. But I, I'm liking this camp. It's nice. I'm just very surprised about all the people that have come through here already. <laughs> maybe four, uh, three, three maybe. You can finally see now how things look like here. It's a nice little mountains. I did find the outhouse. Hmm. Clean and simple. This light is just stunning. Hmm. Right next to my campsite is the sign here to the river. So let's check that out. So people have gone this way before. I was hoping it would be a lot closer to the campsite. Maybe the walk in sides at the other end are closer, but not the car camping. Birch trees. I saw a sign earlier, it said, don't peel the per birch trees. Look 
guess I could find some fire starter here too. Mm. Wow. Look at this tree. It's an old birch tree. Huh. Mm. It's really cool. I love how it's twisted. Anyway, we're so close. Let's go. Very cool. Looks like there might be a way down here. falling. <laughs> mm. Isn't that worth getting up early, guys? That is amazing. You don't find this light at 10 o'clock in the morning anymore. Oh, look at the mountain back there. Oh, so awesome. Don't mind coming out here for breakfast in the winter by the river. Mm. Why not? All you need is the right clothes and the right uh, gear and you're good to go. Don't be afraid to get out there and do this yourself. Be prepared but have fun. The mountain is now almost completely in the clouds, but it's time to head back to the camp. I'll make some tea really quick to take with me and then we'll go hiking along the river for a little bit. I think this little friend loves my tent. Or maybe what's in it. Out. Because of this little guy. <laughs> I think he's going to visit the inside as soon as I'm gone. Where is he? Look at all those cars. This must be a very popular hiking path here. Pretty sure they're supposed to be on a leash, but they're having fun. There's two of them somewhere. <laughs> See if they come by again. Yep. <laughs> fun little guys.
there were just some people coming by and the bridge started shaking really weird. I thought at first I was getting dizzy or something, but it was just the bridge moving up and down naturally and uh, it felt very strange. I noticed that only one other time many years ago um, in Germany actually on a bridge during the fireworks in Bernkastelkuhs and there were so many people on the stone bridge that it started doing the same thing. It was bizarre and it was kind of scary. Look, it's only 2.8 miles to Franconia Falls. So we just came over the bridge somewhere around here. We just followed this trail. And pass this one. And go to Franconia Fall Trail. It's hard to believe that tomorrow it's supposed to be terrible. It's supposed to just be freezing rain and snow and rain and I don't know what, but now it's just beautiful. I'm enjoying my stay here and uh, all the cars that we've seen at the parking lot. I don't see any people anymore. I think they already hiked out or maybe they go on trails that are further than just this little one here. I'm not sure. But I'm all alone here and it's warm. The sun is warming me in my face. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are along with me on this ride and I hope you enjoy it. shortage of water on this trail. Little springs, bigger creeks and then the big river that we've been going along. This is pretty cool here. It talks a little bit about the logging history and shows some artifacts which I would love to find but not in the winter I don't think. Looks pretty cool doesn't it? Can you hear the sound of the snow falling? It's melting, it's definitely warm. And all this beautiful snow on every little twig is falling off. It's a shame, it's so beautiful. But it's only the beginning of winter. We made it to the junction to the waterfall. Just this way. But I'm gonna check out this bridge real quick. Because it looks cool.
a neat little path. like I found the waterfalls but the path continues and so I'll check out if there's anything above this. I see people in the screen behind me as I follow them. I was alone this whole time and now when I record I have people walking into my shot. That's okay we all share nature we all want to enjoy it so. Well there were only a few more feet and then it was the end of the trail. And the two people that came up the path that also turned around and I think they're going to check out the place we were just at. Well, my friends, it's time to head back and go back to the car. Maybe film a couple more things here and there if I see something nice. But I need to head to town and get some food for this evening also and some firewood. So it's probably about noon right now. Um, and I have plenty of time to get everything else done as well, which is nice. Those guys had the fat snow tires on their bikes and the door and that looked kind of exhausting but pretty fun. Actually years ago I went mountain biking in the snow with an, no special tires just mountain bike and it was a lot of fun. I love the shadow on these snow mounds there. We didn't get to see this earlier in the day but now it looks really cool. This might not show up really well. There's just this haze or this cloud bank above the uh, the mountain ridge there, just kind of stuck by the mountains. And I wonder if that's the bad weather coming in or if that's just natural over here, but it looks really cool. Well, my friends, we're back at the car and I'm about to head out to buy some food. But I wanted to show you these amazing icicles here uh, by the bathroom. They look really cool. 